Hey everybody, so I just want to come to you today to show you how to make a really quick, yummy, and easy apple pie recipe in your microwave in about 15 minutes. So I will show you something. The first thing that I did, I'm not using an actual apple pie crust, but my husband actually had one request that I use cinnamon rolls. So I took five of the like giant regular size cinnamon rolls, rolled them out a bit with my rolling pin, and then used my fingers to just kind of mold it to the bottom of my micro pro grill that I'm actually going to use to make the apple pie in today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I did pre-slice some of my apples, but I'm just going to use my mandolin to show you how to slice the last of my apples here. I'm using four Fiji apples. The recipe does actually say Granny Smith apples, but I say use whatever you have. The Fiji is what I had in my refrigerator. And truthfully, I read that Fiji apples are good for pie. And when I say I read that, I mean when I bought it at the grocery store, that's what the sign said. So I just now have my cord sliced, peeled apples in my bowl here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm going to add that before I add anything else so it gets right on the apples. And the reason we do this, if you don't know, is because if you add a little bit of lemon juice to your sliced apples, it will keep them from browning. So just a little tip. Makes it taste really yummy too. Then I'm also going to add two, I have two teaspoons of cinnamon with half cup of sugar in here. Just regular granulated sugar. You can either use your spatula to stir it. I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to put my seal right on my that's a bowl and shake it up really quick. Just to kind of coat everything. Give it a nice even coat here. Because like I always say guys, I'm a fast cook, not a fancy cook ready. I can use my spatula, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you turns out really yummy. It's already caramelizing that sugar and cinnamon that's in there. The next thing that we want to do is make a crumble topping that's actually going to go on the top. So I'm going to use my Power Chef to do that. I'm going to add a stick of cold unsalted butter. Definitely important the salted between unsalted butter and I'm just going to kind of cut this in half a little bit. You know I do it the lazy way. Just going to kind of smush in half. So the next thing I'm going to add for you guys, I have three quarter cup of flour and then I just added my quarter teaspoon of nutmeg in there. We're going to add that. We're also going to add half a cup of, half a cup of brown sugar and also half a cup of our rolled oats. Good enough for me. You know my measurements, they're kind of liberal if you do say if you want to say that and then like I said half cup of my rolled oats here right on in there and the last thing again a request of my husband's pie can you tell us for my husband um I mean I guess it is almost father's day is a quarter cup of walnuts right into the crumble topping so we're just going to add that right in there and I'm not going to lie guys I just noticed I have an extra apple sitting over here which means I did not slice all my apples so we're just going to pause and slice the rest of that apple really quick and we will be merrily on our way if you have a favorite apple pie recipe, go ahead and let me know what it is. Do you have a family secret? You want to share it along with me? I'm sharing my secrets with you. Come on, guys. Be friendly. Share along. So again, just to recoat this, I'm just going to quickly pop my seal on and shake it up a little bit. Woo! Make sure your seal's all the way up, guys. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a mess. Throw that right back in there. That's okay. Get a little messy in the kitchen, not a big deal. So the only thing we're gonna left to do really is to, we're gonna chop up the crumble topping. I'm just gonna pull it a couple of times with my power chef just to crumble it. And mix everything up really well. All you wanna do, your butter is gonna be kinda little crumbly with everything, so 
that's how you know you did it right. So we're just going to take our beautiful micro grill. Again, it's going right in the microwave. Dump those apples right on in. And I'm just going to, I might have too many. I'm just going to double check. All depends on the size of your apples. But we don't want to overfill it because we do have to put that delicious apple topping or crumble topping in there. So we're just going to add a couple more. I probably could have left that other apple alone and gotten away with three apples on this one, but that's okay. So we'll just have some yummy apples to eat afterwards or maybe make a second pie without the crust. I'm just going to go ahead and spread that all on the top there, that little crumble topping. I am going to put this in the casserole position. It is very full and I'm just going to pop it in the microwave. I'm going to start with about 13 minutes because I know my microwave. So about 13 minutes in the microwave here. It is a 1200 watt microwave. And like always, I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, I am back to show you the final results. And like I said, I only did this for 12 minutes. All depends on the wattage of your microwave but you might be able to hear it sizzle just a little bit because it is still cooking in there. But if you open the cover up, um, I had it a little full, so it's a little burnt on a little pieces, but I bet it's still gonna be super yummy. And I will let you know what my husband says about it.